Hi, my name is Dr. Lester Hartman. I'm the Senior Associate at Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. This video is for patients strictly of Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. Today we're going to be discussing HPV vaccines, this human papillomavirus vaccine. I want to give the facts and the science for you today, not internet websites that speculate and have no factual evidence behind what they have been saying. So, the scientific facts. With 100 million doses given, there has been no serious side effects, and that is very clear, including people claiming death, infertility, and autonomic dysfunctions. Yes, there have been some kids that have fainted with the vaccine, not many. We have done 5,100 doses of the HPV vaccine in this practice, and there have been no serious side effects, absolutely none. Did you know 15 million teens and young adults per year contract the HPV virus, whereby up to 12,000 deaths occur from cervical, anal, oral, penile cancer every single year? All of these would be preventable if people got the HPV vaccine. So questions parents sometimes ask is, why vaccinate so young? The intent to vaccinate children at 9 to 11 is not to protect them from STDs, sexually transmitted diseases, at such an age, but rather the vaccine mounts stronger immunity when given at an earlier age to protect our kids between the ages of 20 and 30 when they are more likely to be sexually active and in my experience most kids have become sexually active within the first year of college if they have not in high school. Hence, immunity is longer and stronger than giving the vaccine to somebody who's 14 or older. That is why we want to do it early. And it's so effective that kids who get the vaccine under 14 only need two doses. Those over 14 need three doses of the vaccine. This is not an untested vaccine. As author journals to the book called All Natural, when he compared vegetables to vaccines, said, vaccines are the most safest pharmaceuticals in the history of man. Before it ever was on the market, the HPV vaccine was researched and tested on 30,000 men and women for seven years before going on the market for girls in 2008 and males in 2009. What is good about the HPV vaccine? With only 50% of young women vaccinated in the U.S., there has been a 50% reduction in genital warts, the precursor of cancer, which may translate into a 50% reduction in cervical cancer. In the U.S., the HPV vaccine will prevent 29,000 cases of cancer per year. Now, many people go to websites and look at their data and don't really understand how to interpret the data. First of all, I want to make, give you some advice. When looking at a website, look for one that's a .org or a .edu. Do not rely on one that's .com or .net. Look at the background of the experts. What qualified peer review journals have they published in? MDs need to be vetted, especially those who espouse conspiracy theories and catastrophizing side effects. Also, quackwatch.org is a watchdog group for charlatan doctors. Credible websites you see on the screen right now from Children's Hospital Philadelphia and the legal case of Cedilla versus Health and Human Services on measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine and mercury. Excellent, excellent reading of the uh, judge's decision. And then also the data on the CDC, the effects and side effects of the vaccines. Highly reliable. We ask that you Get your child vaccinated at age 11 and get the whole thing done by the end, by the time that they're 12 years old so they can be protected against and guarded against gas, cancer as adults. This is Dr. Lester Hartman. Have a nice day.